President Trump's daughter, Ivanka, tweeted her support today for the city of Baltimore. She said, I encourage everyone to advance smart policy and or support organizations that uplift the great people of Charm City. She did not condemn the president's attacks on the city and its congressmen. And Mr. Trump continued those attacks today. Here's Errol Barnett. I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. Today, President Trump denied his attacks on Congressman Elijah Cummings has anything to do with race, even as he continued to assault the majority black district Cummings represents. Those people are living in hell in Baltimore. Mr. Trump also said he's heard from black Americans who are grateful for his comments. But if you look at what I've done for African Americans, uh, it's more than almost all presidents. But a new Quinnipiac poll out today finds 80 percent of black voters think the president is racist, and a slim majority of all voters agree. We remember every sacred soul. The president's tone changed at a ceremony here in Jamestown, marking 400 years since the first legislative assembly in America and the arrival of the first enslaved Africans. African Americans have built, strengthened, inspired, uplifted, protected, defended, and sustained our nation. His speech interrupted by a protester. Ibrahim Samira is a Democratic delegate to the state's legislature. Rhetoric isn't just words, it turns into policies with this president. In Richmond, the state's legislative black caucus boycotted the president's speech. We must never allow anyone to dismantle and to erode democracy. Now, the clergy of Washington's National Cathedral, known for bringing factions together, rebuked President Trump's rhetoric today. In a statement titled, Have We No Decency?, they warned the president's words are dangerous and nor are they say it could lead to violence. Errol Barnett, thank you.